Amsterdam airport always always wins the best airport in the world so the efficiency here is amazing and I just breezed through the passport control and the guy was actually waiting for me there was nobody there thank god is this my gate let me see yes an added bonus is i love i love i love business class on a 747 and guess what plane we're flying with i mean i'm flying with is a 747 and not many airlines flies those planes anymore so this is awesome last time i've been on 747 in business class oh my god that was when canadian airlines was still in operations and that was my trip to thailand to bangkok and that was 1999 we were actually in the for the first leg of the flight i was in the in the front in row one for the last leg we were in uh, in the hump and uh, i think last time i flown klm 747 Gosh, I don't remember. It was a few years ago. What was this trip? I don't remember, honestly. But anyway, that was a few years back. Some trip to Europe for something. And we flown with cargo. We had eight horses because there is some type of aircraft that is a combi. So basically, this uh, aircraft would have around 70 rows in economy class in a regular configuration. But in the combi class, I mean combi configuration rather, uh, the seats would end in row 45 and then the rest will be cargo. So it is possible for them to fly animals, they can fly helicopters, they can fly all kinds of uh, strange things. I love that plane. So I cannot wait to see the business class um, of, on this plane, the new uh, generation business class because of course the old was a little bit different it's more like premium economy so yeah this is a good switch see sometimes things happen for the best so there's nothing to complain and the people in Rome I, I could see how 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 uh, difficult the job must be and I understand because I have demanding demanding clients once in a while and I know how it is when um, you're trying to get somebody something that is not possible and you have to still um, decline in a nice way and uh, they were really sweet both Sylvia and her supervisor and uh, yeah he said like basically every day that happens lately they overbook they overbook and um, the people at the airport have to deal with uh, angry people with angry passengers so they really apologized and I said why not you know what I go for it um, I probably still get some compensation so I go for it to help you out but I have to make sure to get back in Toronto because I'm um, I'm going to work tomorrow and I have appointments or I told people that uh, I be at work so I need to be and uh, that was the only solution so I'm glad it worked out yeah, that's good. I'm going to be on the 747. Yes, 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 yes. Awesome. Great. Okay. So that's it for now. And I will uh, film a little bit more inside the plane. Toronto. I will be only two hours later than... I just made it because the gate closes 15 minutes before departure. Awesome, we're gonna have a good time. Hello. Hello. There we go. Thank you very Thank you. Thank you. See this check-in is for upstairs. This one was showing row 71, 79. Somebody want to know? That was for the upstairs cabin. And this is my beautiful plane again here. This is 
still economy. And this is the business. So much more room than only on El Italia. Even El Italia has this leather seats and those pods. But look at this space here. This is a 747. I'm more than happy to be switched to this flight, especially to this aircraft. KLM is awesome. Cheers to a good flight and real crystal glass. How classy is this? Really, chapstick, toothbrush, toothpaste, Shop ice, little plugs, animals, and socks. So in this case, El Italiano's with Salvadore Programma. But this pouch is cute. So pouch-wise, I like this. Inside, I like Salvadore Programma with El Italian. But that's okay. I have so many of these at home. Please pay attention to every detail. For your safety, make sure your carry-on luggage is stowed before taxi, take-off and landing. Small electronic devices may be used at all times. When set to airplane mode, and secure it in your hand or pocket. If you lose your electronic device in your seat, please do not adjust your seat, but call it group. Larger devices, such as laptops, should be stowed before taxi, take-off and landing either in an overhead bin or in a bag under the seat in front of you. Once the parcel seatbelt sign is off, you may use these devices when set to airplane mode. This is a non-smoking flight. This means smoking on board the aircraft is not allowed. This includes the use of electronic cigarettes. Whenever the seatbelt sign is on, your seatbelt must be fastened. For your own safety, keep your seatbelt fastened and visible.
this is a Bose cocktail, their signature drink, created especially for KLM, and then some mixed nuts. So cheers. Very nice. Kind of like cosmopolitan yogurt. It's nifty. Beef salad. It's almost like beef carpaccio. And then we have a corn, creamy corn soup. I don't have any bread. I don't want any. These are very cute, very Dutch. And I have a lovely glass of uh, refreshing summer wine, which is from Austria. Mm, it's very good. Excellent. So, bon appetit. Even look at their cutlery. It's been um, designed especially for KLM by an artist. attention to details you don't get that a lot on the airlines anymore so wonderful so this is my filet of cod with madras curry macadamia cream rice pilaf cauliflower asparagus and raisins So dessert, you could have a chocolate mousse, you could have a fruit plate, and you could, or you could have a selection of cheese. So me being me, I pick the sweet thing. And I have a glass of port, 
with it. Port would go better with um, with a cheese, but um, there was some other sweet wine, but maybe sweet and sweet, that's too much. So, so I went for port. Mm, the mousse is excellent, as light and fluffy as a cloud. Really tasty. Mm. Not too sweet, not like the American sweet. So this is a good option for dessert. Yummy. So let's check out their bathroom. Xenology foaming cleanser, which is a soap. Xenology nourishing moisturizer, refreshing deodorant, hydrating face and body mist, and another deodorant. So let's try this. Mm, smells really good. That's how the bathroom looks. Sometimes there are flowers in business class bathroom. I've seen roses at some airlines, but well, that's a minor. Still pretty good airline. I love KLM. And uh, this is uh, KLM's uh, economy comfort cabin, which is a uh, great upgrade. For only about 300 Canadian dollars, you could upgrade both ways per person to this. And it's uh, quite cozy. And they shut the curtains. More leg room is like uh, what other airlines have uh, premium economy, but generally it does cost more. So this is a great, great, great upgrade. I always offer clients. And now I know why, because uh, when I travel on KLM last time, 
they don't have such option. So this is a great upgrade option and uh, very inexpensive. So I would recommend that to anyone. 90% of my clients take that option when I offer. So let's go upstairs. Now we're gonna have the rare opportunity to check out the ham, which is uh, only possible on the 747, which is not very many of them now. And that's another cabin of business class. This is the galley in the ham. So that's where they prefer the meals. It's really green. Ladies are sitting here. And uh, this is the basket of uh, blue treats. This is uh, some chips. aircraft which for me is the queen of the sky I do love 747 I used to fly quite a bit on then on Air Canada and Canadian but now I believe it's just um, KLM Air France and Lufthansa to operate those all the other airlines are using the um, triple seven dreamliners and various airbuses so 
there is one um, type of the aircraft that is a combi and you can put uh, lots of different things in it you start two thirds passengers one third uh, cargo so that wall beside KLM has a galley downstairs galley a kitchen on the other side the whole length of this wall which is quite amazing and unheard of on other airlines so not even they have the kitchen upstairs they also have the kitchen downstairs and a big one too see anyway I better go go to my seat see how comfortable these guys are sitting very nice very often I get these two seats for people is really smart I'm gonna be quiet because it allows people to want to be alone to be left alone like this lady it seat is just one seat then there is two seats the left one is my seat I have a guy beside me and there is again one seat here two seats over there again two seats two seats 1A is just a single seat. You know it's very dark in here so you cannot see. This kind of the seats are similar as upstairs. is that ice cream oh my god look she brought me ice cream from economy that is so awesome thank you so much there's a little spoon inside right a lady brought me ice cream from economy class because klm always gives ice cream in economy but not always in business so i mentioned that to her um, and she brought it i didn't even ask for it that is awesome so, ice cream on the plane, look. Our snack uh, before landing in Toronto is uh, another innovation of KLM. Uh, the flying burger. The flying burger. And then we have uh, mustard mayonnaise. We have relish. Ketchup. I cannot read. Focus. Because the plane is shaking slightly. Anyway. And a healthy dose of coleslaw. And I have my Spanish red. And I'm watching a uh, documentary about the famous Warren Beatty the biggest womanizing actor that Hollywood ever had and I forgot to add before that they have those great <coughs> noise blocking headsets 
they're absolutely delightful. The property of KLM, you cannot have them. Yes. So, I don't think we have much time left, so I better start with that burger before uh, they take it away. So, bon, app bon appetit. So we got also an apple pie, looks like that, with creme anglaise, that uh, she poured on the pie, is cute, I don't know, it's too much food, this is cute, look at this, this burger, but in the newspaper, and, and it's some story, I will kill him, this is too funny. I need to open and read that paper. Look at that again. Daily Kilian. The Dune. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. My first burger on the airplane, I swear to God. And from all the places in business class. Mm -hmm. Crazy. So now I'm playing with my food. I need to make a smiley face. Happy Thailand burger. And KLM always gives a little gift in the shape of a hot house. And it's compliments of balls. And balls is inside the liquor. See? A few different ones. They so cute. Really nice colors, huh?
here, El Italia, that I have given up my seat from, which is actually much better. So that's how the business class chair looks uh, in the daylight. It's a nice, nice fluffy pillow, a blanket. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Thank you. And. Uh, how it operates. So you have the Ottoman and then you have your seat and your controls. So to do you press forward and the the foot rest rises really slow actually. So it rises like that and it kind of forms a flat bed. Yeah, 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 slow. Anyway, then, then you have a control. So you could make it totally flat. See? And then the whole seat goes flat. It's very difficult to film like that. So the whole seat goes flat and it's a really slow process. And then you have this cocoon for added privacy. You have a little privacy. Um, fence see and then uh, that's how it looks and then you also have this light for reading for your individual and you also have another control here if you want to adjust the seats through this control you can go back to the upright position you go this Okay. Now it doesn't want to. It's very slow. There's the outlets that you can charge your phone or whatever. What else do you need to put my ear on? So I know. There is the TV control. Okay. So lots of different entertainment options. That doesn't want to go. Seatbelt. There is your foot tray right in here. Okay, and that moves up and down, of course. No way, the seat is very, very comfortable. And the service is great. Okay. I should not forget my uh, suitcase. Okay, and uh, this is the K famous KLM g galley. Look how big. So those ladies were preparing gourmet food right in here the food for business class and uh, all this economy food that's something you don't see that very often and this is our wonderful flight attendant Suzanne who gave us awesome service thank you so much thank you with pleasure
I went to Tokyo too. How cute is this plane? And this one at the cone has a radar. You can see the pilots. 